Got a wasp problem? You're gonna want to check out this product. Well, hello, random YouTube people. Do you have a wasp problem? Well, I have a solution for you. This is called the wasp trap stick. Look at all those wasps. There's about 70 of them. And these were caught in just the span of three to five days. Let me show you what the wasp trap stick is, how to set it up, and how it can work for you too. Subscribe. So today we're talking about the wasp trap stick through rescue pest control. It's this crazy looking device and it's got a little sticky mat that the wasps will hopefully be attracted to and stick to. First, let's set it up. We just need to take it out of this packaging. You can see it's connected in these couple of sections here. I'm just kind of pushing those up and you can do it that way or you can just grab this little tab here and pull it straight down. All right, now this thing is really sticky as you can see. It's already sticking to the cardboard. So this comes with a couple of outside shield pieces and they're just here in the middle. I'm gonna pull them out just like that. And I'm gonna make sure I stand this up so that the sticky part doesn't stick to my workbench and take this off. And this is gonna actually be your hanger piece so don't lose this either. So we're gonna untwist these and it gives directions on the box, but really quickly, it's really pretty simple. You take the top pieces are the same on each side and you find these little sections and you're just gonna push this up here. And then on the bottom, you're going to bend it in and push it down on the bottom and make sure you hear that little snapping sound. Hard to do when you're looking through the camera. There you go. So there are a total of six of them. And so it's a hexagon shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? So we're just going to connect each little section. So really that was a pretty easy setup. The last thing we're going to do is take this little twisty tie that comes with it and we're gonna find one of these sections and run it through so that we can hang it. So really pretty simple. And you don't have to worry about any of the chemicals and pouring those in and getting replacement chemicals. These little sticky mats should just grab onto the wasps as they fly around. Now you can see that this is going to be tied to where you want it to be tied to. We took one of these camping just recently and it captured quite a lot of flies. So let's go see how much it captures our wasps. As you can see, we have a little wooden play set and the bees are so attracted to this. We tried to set up this little fake hive out of a paper bag and it did not work. So we're going to see if the wasp trap stick will do a better job. Now using the little twisty tie that comes with it, we're going to twisty tie it in that exact same spot where that fake hive was and we're gonna see how many or how many bees we can catch with this thing. And there we go. Just ran the twisty ties above and twisted it up top. And she's gonna dangle here and attract those bees. Here's one of those bees, as you can see. They just love this kind of wood for some reason. They love to go build their hives with it apparently. But we're gonna see if this little guy is going to be attracted to our little wasp trap stick. Here's another, they just love this wood but our kids love to play on this wood, so we'd rather not have them interact with these bees as much as possible. Hopefully this wasp trap stick will do the job. Man, they just love our little playhouse, but our kids love it too. And we want our kids to enjoy it without these wasps. Well, it looks like we've got a couple, three right there. It's not been up for very long and I've already got a few. And I got a fly. So it looks like it's working so far. Let's wait a couple more days and see how many bees we can get. Oh, and a fourth one, right as I clicked end on that last video, another one flew up. So far this wasp trap stick seems to be doing a great job attracting these bees. It is later in the year. I'm sure if I would have put it up at the beginning of the spring, this would have worked a lot more or there'd be a lot more bees on here, but so far it's doing great. All right, everybody, it's been less than 12 hours and look at all these bees that this wasp trap has already caught. This wasp trap stick does seem to attract the bees. Look at all these things. 
I earlier counted 15 in the first 12 hours here. So I'm gonna go put that back up and see how many more we can get. But this does certainly look really effective, this crazy looking device. I would recommend it. Look at all these bees. Now this doesn't kill the bees right on contact. They get stuck to it and can't fly away. So you can see this guy's beating its wings as hard as he can and he cannot get unstuck from this trap stick. When I zoom in here, you can see this bee is flapping as hard as it can and it can't get away from this sticky substance on this wasp trap stick. Sorry little guy, but don't want you playing around my kids. I think my son might be allergic to bees, but I don't want to find out. He seems to be allergic to mosquitoes. So I assume he would be allergic to wasps as well and I don't want to find that out. So, sorry little dude, but. Now this comes in a pack of three so you can strategically place these around your house where you see wasps. I see a lot of wasps in the front yard by the little quaking aspen trees that we have. They seem to love the grass in my backyard as well. So I'm gonna leave this hung up by the play set and then I might open up the other one and put it in the front yard. But you can just see how effective this really is. This crazy looking device, this wasp trap stick really does attract these things. And I just hung one of the other traps on my awning. There's a lot of bees that are flying around here. Hey, speaking of bees, so hopefully we can catch some more. I found a hive inside the fence. I've stuck the trap over here just to see if I can collect more. Well, I took the fence post cap off and there's definitely a hive under there. Don't the bees, that's why. Well, I got the fence post cap off and I got the hive mostly removed. But we're going to try to capture the remaining bees with our wasp trap stick. Put it right on top of the fence. Well, I think I've counted 37 bees on this wasp trap stick. Dang. Three. So there's about 43 bees on here in just less than 24 hours. That is a lot of bees. This is the trap stick, wasp trap stick, and I would recommend it. Look at this thing, it's so cool looking. It's pretty crazy, and look, it does work. The bees are attracted to it, and quite a many of them are. So look at this, woo! It's a little scary for kids, I guess, if you were to try to stick your hand in there or have kids stick your hand in there with live wasps, because this doesn't kill them, it just prevents them from flying away. So, sorry, dude. Well, I was a little worried because the last couple of nights there's been a lot of rain and a lot of thunderstorms, and I was worried that that would cause the trap stick to become ineffective or less effective. And well, that's not true. It continued to capture bees over the next couple of days, even with the rainstorms. I have another wasp trap stick on my awning, and this one so far has only caught three bees in the last several days. It's all about location, location. Well, what I had done is cleared out the old hive and then I took this panel of the fence off because portion of the hive had gone into the fence. So that's all been removed. I've also put some clear duct tape right here to prevent the wasps from wanting to enter the hole. And I did that on both sides. And I also put the wasp trap stick right here, just hanging off of the fence. And in the last couple of days, I've increased the amount of hornets that I've caught with this wasp trap stick. So you can see that a couple of them are pretty new to the trap stick. Still trying to get unstuck from the sticky stuff. And we put the wasp trap stick here at the location of where the hive was, and it gets a lot more activity than the one over here on the awning. So location, 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 like I said. So let's go ahead and count how many bees we have collected so far in the last couple of days. So I went around on each of the six panels and I counted around 70 hornets that this has caught so far. A lot of these guys are still trying to fly away. This stuff is really sticky. I haven't seen one be able to get off of it yet, but holy cow, 70 hornets in like three to five days. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Well, 
With the help of the Wasp Trap Stick, my kids are finally able to play again on their playset without having to worry so much about the wasps because we have taken care of quite a many of them with the Wasp Trap Stick. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please click on the link in the description below to get your Wasp Trap Stick today. I know it will work for you. Remember to click the like button, share it with all of your friends, comment, and most importantly of all, subscribe. Subscribe.